All right, folks. So, which guns are worth using in RimWorld? Are some better than others? Do they depend on circumstances? Are some totally useless? We're going to continue our look at them by testing if pistols are worth it. So with your RimWorld weapons, you've got all your stats, you've got your damages, you've got your penetrations, your ranges, your cooldowns, your shot counts, all these things which just make it really complicated to figure out which gun does the most damage in which situation. So rather than figuring out all the stats, we're putting them all to the test in our trusty shooting range, and we're going to see once and for all which are the best weapons. So in our shooting range, we run three different distances, which replicate the short, medium, and long accuracies stated in the game. All of our weapons are of normal quality, and all of our test subjects have 10 skill in shooting. No traits which improve their shooting, no modifiers, no nothing. Bog standard average pawns. And we are going to measure the time to kill of either unarmored subjects, which are muffalo, or armored subjects, which are some scythers. And we're going to measure the time to kill, take an average of all of our subjects, and give you an average time for each weapon in each situation. And it'll really let us understand exactly how long it takes and which is the best weapon for which circumstance. So just before I get into the nitty gritty, big thank you for all the guys that have subbed recently. It's great to let me know that you enjoy the content and I'll just, I'll keep on making it. It's brutal. In terms of today, what we're going to do is we're going to compare the auto pistol and the machine pistol, which you can pick up as a research item midway through the game. But we're going to compare this with one of the early game weapons, the pump shotgun. And we're going to run a comparison between these. Um, more details in the pump shotgun I'll include at the end of the video. Now of the three, the auto pistol has a much longer range, but is this extra range worth it for the reduction in it has an extra shot count of three um, which brings it more in range with the damage of the pump shotgun however that lack of penetration might be an issue when it comes to our armored targets but let's find out so in terms of shooting unarmored muffalo we've got time to kill on the bottom and types of weapons up on the left here shotgun machine pistol auto pistol and three distances darker colors longer distance and the thick white lines you see in the middle here like this one. They're your average values, and then the box gives you the quartile range, and the line along the edge gives you the full range. Looking to start with at the auto pistol, which is the only one that has a range long enough to fire at a long range, we see that it takes roughly around two minutes to kill a muffler. Now, you've got to ask yourself, is this extra range actually worth it versus the other weapons when the time it takes to change from a, a long to a medium distance, which is about 10 tiles, the time it takes you to close in that distance, are you going to get more shots off and are you going to get more kills, do more damage with a, with a shorter range weapon? Maybe, I'd think so. Then if we look in the medium range here, what you'll see is actually the auto pistol from all of our repeats had quite a wide range of times over which the time to kills came in. And actually over the medium range, it was the machine pistol that had quite a tight spread and the lowest of the averages coming in at under 50 seconds to kill a muffalo, which makes it look considerably better than our previous favorite, which was the shotgun over here. And then because over the short range, this is all quite tight, uh, let's zoom in and have a look. So again, over the short range, you can see that actually the machine pistol definitely wins out. And even here, the auto pistol is now better than our previous favorite, the shotgun. So again, so on armored targets, Machine pistol, definite winner. Those extra shots and that quicker fire time is really helping do more damage. Now, armored targets. Let's start with the auto pistol again. In theory, the auto pistol has the range to take down an armored target at the long distance. However, it's happening down here and it is taking forever to kill something. Not worth fighting something armored at range with the auto pistol. Not worth your time. Charge in. Use a different weapon. No. It's a big no for the auto pistol. And now then, this is where it gets interesting. Over the medium range, auto pistol, pants again. However, the machine pistol's much lower penetration brings it much more in line with the shotgun. Shotgun's got a wider spread of values, but actually their averages are very, very similar. Negligible difference there. However, let's have a look what's going on again at the shorter distance. So at short distance, machine pistol wins again. It's 
that is about 10 seconds. It's about a 10 second difference. What, 33%? Quite a big difference, I'd say there. However, even though we see that the auto pistol's actually better than the shotgun here, its performance at other distances, I think, I think we rule out the auto pistol. I think we say no. It's a battle of these two. So yeah, machine pistol, significant improvement on the shotgun over most ranges versus both armoured and unarmoured. But the shotgun is a is a close comparison. So you've got to ask yourself, if you've originally started, you've built your workshop and you've gone with the shotgun to start with, are you going to spend the time deviating and upgrading to machine pistols for everybody and spending that resource for an extra 33% increase in damage? Me? I might be tempted to stick with the shotgun and save up your resources and your research to move on to heavier weapons later down the line, which we're going to look at. And if you want to stick with the shotgun and you want to know more about the shotgun info, check out this video that I did previously. And thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in a bit.